I'm going to show you how I name files for scripture recordings. So let's take an example of John chapter 1 and just the first uh, five verses. So let's start off with the name of the book. So if I was going to name the book John, I would name it this way. ABC 43 John OO title dot wave. And I'll explain how I'm doing that. The verse part, the ABC, is the ethnologue code. The ethnologue code you will find at www.ethnologue.com. This is a three letter code for every single language of the world, uh, either minority languages, and it'll help. Um, Sort, if you're using it in digital recorders, so it'll sort all the languages together. But also, if you give the file to somebody else, they can figure out what language it goes with. If you make up your own code, it won't help you. So use the ethnocode, and that will help you and other people down the line. The next thing is 43 for John. And you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, there's Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, shouldn't it be book number four? But we start the sequence number from Genesis. We do this because we recorded some New Testament recordings, and then later on someone wanted old, several Old Testaments, and we didn't know how to handle it then. And we had to rename everything. So we just decided to just start with Genesis as book number one. Matthew is going to be book number 40 all the way to Revelation, which is book number 66. So you can find the sequence number and even uh, abbreviation for books of the Bible at htmlwwamazingword.com slash ref book info and stats html. That will help you find this information. The next thing is John, or you could spell it out J-O-H-N. Many times I go up to four letters. Um, I would try to keep it to, limited to four letters because this name of the file is already long enough as it is. Uh, but you can come up with whatever you want to. So 43 is not very uh, helpful. It orders everything correctly. Uh, if you put the John in front, it will actually sort on alphabetical order. That's why we put the number here, and then we put the name of the book next. So you can make it whatever you want, um, but make it human readable. The next thing is the chapter number. We number books as chapter 00, and I'm going to show you here. So all book titles are chapter 00 with no verses. Chapter titles, like John 1, is going to be verse 0, because we want verse 1 to be track 1 or number 1, uh, if you're going to number the files separately. The next thing is a verse number, because this is a a name of a book. There is no verse number, so that can be optional. Comment can be optional. I typically only use comments on titles or if I do something unique, so you can figure out what it is. But I put on titles because it actually makes the file name a little bit longer and it's easier to find each book separately with that word title sticking in there. And the final thing is the file extension. Is it going to be a wave? Masters, we always master to waves, but if you're going to export it for distribution to MP3s or Augvorgus uh, for other things. Okay, now let's go with the chapter name. So it would be ABC 43 John, and it would be 01 for chapter. So we always Fill it in 01. The only difference is with Psalms, I would put 001 because there's more than 100 verses. So we uh, fill it in with zeros here. 
I typically export everything this way uh, by chapters, by the book title and by chapters. If for some reason you wanted to split it up for a device um, like Mega Voice or um, Audi Bible, you might want to split it up per verse. So if we had the verse right here, I would put dash 01 for verse 1, dash 02 for verse 2, dash 03 for verse 3. If you wanted to do a section, I number the whole section. 01 through 05. Just helps you know what they are. You can read it um, very easily. And it will also sort in the correct order. Now let's say that we have a situation where in the New Century Bible we have after the title of the book we have John tells about Jesus the Son of God. And then we have a heading for verse 1 through 5 Christ comes to the world. So how do I handle those? Most of the time I just record that with the title. So John, John tells about Jesus the Son of God and I would just call that part the title of the book. But if you want to break it out I would do it this way. I would do John up here and I'd put in title and I would 00A and then for the introduction, I call it 00B, put the introduction, and record this as a separate file. The heads for the chapters, I mean for the verses, I would do it the same way. I would just do it 001, and I would record the heading and the verse together. But if you wanted to split it out, you could go zero zero I mean zero one A heading zero one B and I would put verse so you know what it is. If you just see the A and B you're might be a little confused. Uh you might think I'll remember that, but six months, a year, two years later you might not know what it is. Some recording tips here. Always record the book title with the chapter. In other words, always read Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 2, Genesis chapter 10, Genesis chapter 20. Don't just read chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 10, chapter 20, because if the person's flipping through, they don't know what book they're in. Yes, for the very first um, book, they'll hear Genesis, Genesis chapter 1. Yes, it'll be repeated, but it, that's better than the person being lost if they're trying to find the file or they're listening to the file. They know exactly what it is. Chapter 1 does not help them, especially if, if you have multiple books you recorded. Know what you're going to do with verses and be consistent. Read no verse numbers at all. You just start in and you just start reading. Other option, read every verse. One and you read along, two, continue on, three, or you'll read the verses at the beginning of paragraphs. In other words, you can say one through four, read, five through eight, read, or you can just say one, read along, five, read along. It's to help the person to know where they're located uh, when they're listening.